It's actually kind of cool to be chilling with Penthouse and talking about, uh, not about naked women, just talking about fighting. I was on a bad path as a kid and a child, and um, fighting actually saved my life. From being a bad person to a good person, a negative to a positive. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, but it helped me change my ways. When you grow up rough, you get this sort of crazy aggression, and you go, oh man, why is these guys got everything and I got nothing? No education. I was in jail at 17, went back in jail at 20. Come out again, I got prospects of a 300, 400 a week dollar job. Then where from there? You know, I already had the gangs trying to join me up. <laughs> what am I gonna do at that age? I was pretty much lost. But um, like I said, fighting helped Mark Hunt find Mark Hunt. I um, got into an altercation outside a nightclub. The bouncer saved me from being arrested and then yeah, as they say, the rest is history. I've been fighting ever since. On the blue stage, Mark. The sport of MMA has grown a lot since the time I started. And you're talking about someone that came from a striking background. I came from K1. In K1, you knew you were going to get hurt. It's just a matter of how much. Because it was more of a combat sport. You're kicking each other, punching each other, arguing. I feel God's blessed me with a gift is to fight, it's to take punishment, and that's pretty much what I'm good at. It's kind of a funny thing to say there, but uh, that's just the way it is. I spent about 10 years in Japan working. A program called Dragon Ball Z. This is what a program I used to watch, I used to love it. They were called the Super Saiyans. I was nicknamed the Salmon Monster over in Japan, but they started nicknaming me the Super Salmon because of my heritage, and um, because I used to love watching that cartoon. So when the Super Saiyans would go and fight, their hair would go white, and they'll turn into superpowers, and that's my little gimmick. <laughs> yeah, I've got um, a few tattoos. These are traditional. This one here was a cover-up of a girl's name. <laughs> I've shown a super fighter at the gym I used to have a run. This says, in Japanese, Salmon Monster, and in Chinese it says, Strange Person. <laughs> strange Guy. <laughs> I honestly can't see myself giving up fighting unless I get injured anytime soon, like badly, and that's it. Um, I just love it too much. It's just the craziest feeling you'll ever get. <laughs> and the funny thing about it, it's even better than drugs because, you know, once it's over, it's like, ah. you know, after going through a huge amount of punishment or a good fight, you're like, oh my gosh. I've had the most punches to the head in the UFC history than anyone. But look at me, I'm still talking to you well. I mean, I might not be able to remember a lot of shit, but, <laughs> but I love fighting. That's why I said I was born to fight. Going the winner by knockout, Mark Super Samoa. Oh. You know, I love the UFC, and I thank Dana and all those guys. They doubted me, you know, because I'm nearly there. I think I'll be the world champion if I get the opportunity by the, by the end of this year. This drug testing that's going on, they're getting caught and all these cheaters are getting caught. <laughs> that's basically the way I think about it. And you can see by the way some of them fight these days, they're just, they're falling over quite easily. <laughs> <laughs>